what was the first time that you realized that what happened on 9-11 was uh, didn't work with the official story? You know, I would have to say honestly, the very next day. And I'll tell you what, what uh, was wrong with that picture, something wrong with this picture. When I saw the Twin Towers come down, each of them come down. I looked at it and said, there's something wrong there, that don't look right. That had nothing to do with Building 7 or anything. But within a week, I was, uh, had already done, started doing research within the week. And uh, I was already convinced that something right here that this was, and at the time, I didn't think of it in terms of an inside job. But I thought the uh, different powers of the U.S. Uh, government were involved in some way and complicit. They knew that it was going to happen, but they let it happen. And I believe the story that there was 19 Arabs, you know, with box cutters, all that bullshit. But then, uh, I'd say, uh, by a month, I had done a lot of re uh, enough research that I'm young. Now, this is starting to seem like... They're the architects of this. This is an inside job. You know, it didn't take me that long. But uh, there was something screwy looking about it. Just after seeing the images of the Twin Towers coming down, collapsing, I said, that don't, something, something wrong with that. You know, it just don't make any sense that the building should collapse in the manner it did. So, uh, you know, and it's been ever since. You and I, uh, I guess, I guess you first started like looking into this after you and I met, right? I had already been looking, you know, That's I right, yeah. been researching this for years. And, uh, you know, I, get, I think it was after you and I began to exchange notes that, uh, that shortly uh, after that, I was 100% sure. And it was hard to find people, you know, friends, that were 100% sure, and it's still hard to find them. You're, you're one of the few. But, uh, it's, it's been such a fucking shame. And I have told you that, you know, out of the whole mountain of evidence, that when I'm talking to somebody, trying to introduce them to this, I try to pick three things out of the mountain of evidence. One of those three things, is I say to somebody, you don't have to know anything about anything beyond this, but ask yourself this. This is the most horrific event that's ever happened on U.S. soil. You know, it's, it, it tops JFK's assassination, it tops anything that's ever happened on U.S. soil, by far. Ask yourself this, why did it take almost a year and a half to begin an investigation? The investigation into JFK's assassination began two days after, within two days. This took a year and a half after much resistance. It may never have happened. Ask yourself that. Another question. Ask yourself, why have you never seen video of the plane that supposedly hit the Pentagon? The Pentagon is the most protected building on the planet. And ask yourself this. Could that have happened to the Kremlin? Could the same thing have happened to the Kremlin? They got cameras all around the perimeter of that building. They had cameras at the hotel across the street, and security cameras at the gas station across the street. They were confiscated that afternoon. Ask yourself that. Why haven't you seen a video of that plane? That's number two. And number three, I don't know, pick you know, building seven. Pick, you know, look at building seven. Take a look at the videos. Ask yourself this, how is that possible? Why made that thing? collapsed within its own footprint in, in uh, an identical manner as all the videos you've seen throughout the years of your life of, of controlled demolition. Ask yourself those three things. After you ask yourself those three questions, and, you, and if you can answer those to your own satisfaction, then leave it alone. But if they don't pique your curiosity and make you want to say, yeah, what's up with this? And, Maybe I should look farther into this, you know, dig a little deeper. Then you will begin to dig into that mountain of evidence. And you'll begin to go down the rabbit hole. And once you begin to go down that rabbit hole, you can't turn around and come back out. You just got to keep going down further and further and further until you are like me and yourself 
100%, no doubt about it, Tom Holland. This was an orchestrated event by powers within the U.S. government for reasons basically unknown. We don't really know, but we see the evidence over the past 11 years of what, what their objective was. We see it unfolding before our very eyes, you know, the Patriot Act and so on. You know, the uh, militarization of all of the, the, the uh, police forces across the country, and so on and so forth. So, uh, that's my take on it. We're uh, speaking with uh, Mr. John Ormond, and we're out here in Greenport, uh, on Waywood Way. On Waywood Way. And uh, Mr. Ormond, we we tell our uh, listeners exactly what you did for a living? I'm a retired engineer with the uh, New York State Department of Transportation, and I uh, had my own building business uh, for uh, over 15 years. Built some of the finest houses on Long Island. Uh, and uh, I have a lot of interest, uh, sailing being one of them. That's why we're here today. On this gorgeous afternoon, another day in paradise. And uh, I would say, uh, you know, not to, uh, I, I don't particularly care to talk about myself all that much, but uh, I will say that I, I generally don't go off half cock about anything. I know what I know, and I know what I don't know. So, uh, that's been a way I, that, that's how I've been uh, throughout my life. And, uh, and you know, it, it, it's, uh, it's relevant to uh, my, my beliefs about uh, the events of 9-11, you know, the, the criminal act of 9-11 and everything.